Hello again, everybody. Okay, here's a really cool trick that took me a little while to figure out. I'll show you the trick, and then I'll show you how I think it's done. Okay, I'm going to be using four queen of clubs, and the queens are going to turn over on their backs one at a time. There's the first queen turns over on her back. That's a good thing. And we'll slide out the other queens. And we're going to see if we can get these queens to turn over one at a time. So just by waving my hand over the card, the first queen has flipped over. Now, we'll take this queen right here, and we'll give it a little wave over this card, and we'll see. And we've got another queen that flipped over. And we'll slide this queen right down over here, and we'll see if we can get the final queen to flip over with a little shake. And now all four queens have flipped over. So we'll close it up, turn over this queen, and now we'll give the cards one little shake. And now all four queens are red. So we have four red queens. One, two, three, four. Okay, here's how the trick is done. You want one blue queen three red queens, two blue in different cards, and a double back blue red card. The way the trick is set up is you want two queens on top, then the two in different cards, then the blue red card with the blue face up, then the blue queen, oh this is the blue queen, then the blue queen face down, there's your four blue cards, and then one other red queen face up, and the other red queen face up. So that's how it looks just like that. Okay, what you do to start is a, an Elmsley count to show that you have four Queen of Clubs. Now, you can use four different cards, but you'll be showing the same card twice with the Elmsley count. Then what you do is you hold the cards like this with a biddle grip, slide off the top card, slide the second card off, and then hold the whole pack like this and take the top card and push the whole pack off the bottom, sliding it back, saying the first Queen flipped over. And you set the queen on top, you grab it like this, and you pull the two queens out from the bottom. So you've got this queen and this queen. Now you have the whole pack right over here. What you're going to do is then you're going to, it's going to make a little break right over here, so you'll be able to slide. As I put my hand over, this is what's happening. That card is going down and covering up the first queen. Then a little bit of an adjustment. Now this is the double back card, and you can see this double stick tape here. This is the fattest card right here. So this is the next card that you want to push down so you then go like this and slide that one down and that one covers uh, the queen then you take the fourth queen and you put that underneath and then once again there'll be a slight break right by that fourth card and you want to and the fourth card is behind the double stick tape card and then you want to as you're shaking it you want to push that card through so all four queens have now flipped over. Then you want to be very careful because under this card is a face up card. So you want to slide all the cards in, pull this one out and flip it over. Now the way you're set up is you've got these cards and you've got the red back. And then these three have red backs. So you hold it again with a biddle grip, slide the bottom three cards off and show that you have one, two, three, four queens. Or if you put this pack in the second position from the bottom and turn it over. You can do an Ascanio spread by peeling two cards off the bottom, taking the top card and holding this whole pack as one. Or as I've seen in some of these other ones, some of these other videos, they flip the cards over one, two, three, and then hold on to all of these cards and flip that over as one card. And that's it. It's a pretty cool trick, but it requires practice. So now that you know how to do it, practice. That's it. See you all next time.